What's good to be your boy for the one kid aka Steve's got this bitch fired and in today's video I'm gonna be showing how to make these purple rain stack pants alright you feel me just kick back relax hit that like button and just yeah let's get right to it man one more thing before I show you how to make these I'm pretty sure like everybody finna go steal my idea so just give me my credit you heard I made these in another in a red pair I'm gonna show you how to make the clip and after that I'm gonna show you how to make it but Give me my credit on these, you feel me? Don't take my idea and run with it. I mean, that's cool, but like, give me my credit, bruh. All right, let's get right into it. I can tell I got both pairs. You go to, they came out like pinkish. I, I try to make them red, but yeah, it came out like pinkish. Like, they still fire, but yeah. But these is the two pants I'm gonna be showing you how to make. All right, so this is what you need. You gonna need some dye. It don't matter what color it is, just make sure it's red. Then you're gonna need some seam rippers. This is just to make cutting easier. But if you don't got these, then you can use some scissors. I don't recommend these though, because I just don't. That's gonna take forever. But then you're gonna need like some cardboard or some magazines just to make, like, put it in between the pants to make the cutting easier. Then last but not least, just a bucket, man. So basically, you just wanna make these little rips. Make them as big as you see me making them, because if you make them too big, then they're gonna fall apart when you throw them in the washer. Also, make only three to four rows of these. I, I. The front side should look like this when you're done. If it don't look like this, then you messed up. Do the same thing to the back side. Now this is what the back should look like. Again, if it don't look like this, then you messed up. They're not gonna look right, man. Now what you wanna do is you just wanna pour the water in the bucket. It could be cold water or hot water, but I recommend you do hot water, man. Go ahead and pour your dye in.
Now you just want to put your pants in the dye and leave them in there for 24 hours. Now, after the 24 hours is up, make sure you throw them in the washer and the dryer. If you don't throw them in the dryer, then man, they're not going to look right. I'm telling you, they're not going to look right. Another thing, if you want to make them stacked, make them stacked before you dye them, alright? So that way it makes the process a little bit easier. Or you can do what I did and like, before you make them stacked, you can just throw like the first pants in the dye and then get the second pair or whatever you want to make stacked. Throw them in there after as you see. But after this clip, we're going to get into the B-roll and yeah. Also, one more thing, I'm telling y'all, my next video is going to be 10 times better, bruh. I promise, bruh.